What's up, my boy? What's up? You remember those average ass games? Those games that didn't make it into the glass at Walmart? They'd be like off to the side. They wouldn't be the full sixty or seventy dollars. They'd be like ten, twenty dollars. You know, you remember those games? Yeah, you mean like the the blockbusters games you would get, and you wouldn't even get the right game. <laughs> I couldn't just get a blockbuster break. just in Hollywood video. Oh, hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> I had heard of a Hollywood video in ages. <laughs> this generation knows nothing about that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm talking about those type games. Those ones where you pick it up and you're just guessing to see if it's good. Like you go to the red box and you're just like, ah, fuck it. You can find some good ass games like that though, bro. That's how I found out about Army of Two. And that game was fire. That is the perfect mid game. Describe what I'm talking about. That's crazy that you said it's mid. I just lost a whole lot of respect for you just now. <laughs> I never had to, I never played that game because I never had a second person to play with. Yeah, you, see, I was going to say you definitely didn't have a friend after saying that shit. Yeah. I won't play the game with you. We're not playing games no more. Let's not the game titles. From the first descendant, the piece of ingress is in the hand of descendants. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. No, no. Let, let's get to the real story, okay? The story that people care about. So this is your basic-ass third-person shooter. Nothing too spectacular. It has decent gameplay, you know, just typical stuff that you would expect. Nothing too crazy. You run around, you shoot things, you pick up your loot. The one thing I will say is this game is not stingy at all with the amount of loot it gives you. You will get a metric shit ton of guns, most of which will be duplicates. And the only annoying thing about that is you're going to have to constantly empty your inventory when you get new weapons. You might as well be sitting there and playing inventory simulator because 90 percent of the time you are picking up the same weapons same bullshit just slightly better stats there's so many copies of the same gun yeah that's i just turn it all into junk another thing the game has like effects that you could tie into your weapons using like this card system so you can give your weapons different stats like increased increased fire damage, increased uh, reload speed, decreased recoil, stuff like that. But it's one of those games where it's like increased fire damage by 1%. So you're just going to be grinding to increase that 1% till it gets to a percent that's actually noticeable. So it's you put all these attachments on and at the end of the day, it just feels like it's completely worthless. It doesn't really make the guns feel any different. I feel like the problem with games like this though is when it comes down to it and you're constantly grinding like for these specific items and these specific things for your characters i feel like it doesn't really matter until you're at like end game because you're just sitting there like what is the point of upgrading your current set of weapons and wasting materials and stuff until later on in the game where you're at like your max stats so that you can actually get the full benefit of using those materials maybe that's just me i don't know you and you're me. gonna need a lot of fucking materials this game whole existence is just grinding day is never finished master got me working everything that you're gonna want everything that's like high level you're gonna be grinding your ass off to get it and the grind i'm not gonna say it's bad but it's extremely repetitive all of the missions we played are basically go to a location, defend a point, shoot, go to a location, defend multiple points, shoot, or go to a location, capture point, shoot. There wasn't anything really crazy. And I guess it's kind of to be expected with this type of game. Uh, it's like your MMO type game. So I guess can't really judge it too harshly on that. But at the same time, it is just kind of brain dead to play. Yeah, it's one of those things where you could just kind of it's a it's not a it's not a terrible game and it's not a great game either it's just one of those games that you can just really really aimlessly play through when you're just trying to wind up from something like from something else where it's not too crazy hard or not too boring that'll put you to sleep eventually yeah the game's gameplay is passable enough that it works good enough to be that game that you can play when you don't have shit to do and just like let me just throw something on real quick the last thing i want to mention about the gameplay is there are boss battles in this game that are supposed to be set pieces and tied into the overall 
narrative, which I couldn't tell you shit about. Damn, Greg. Are we finally gonna fight this dude who's been talking shit this whole time? Maybe. No, nah, this is Greg. This is literally Greg. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the most. Why I'm is sorry, his name the fucking Greg? <laughs> That's the most underwhelming, like alien name. It's like, <laughs> it's like oh no, it's Greg. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, they knew what they were doing. In the boss battles, all of them are pretty much a bullet sponge enemy that you completely fucking destroy in the first phase. And then they pull their balls out, and then they just have a fucking crazy shield and a crazy hey, health bar. What? <laughs> the the wording, bro. The wording. What did I say? He just pulls his balls out. <laughs> hey, yo! He's not wrong. Though. Every <laughs> boss has these three testicles flying around <laughs> that create a shield to you, stop you from doing damage to them you have to destroy each one of them to destroy the shield and sometimes they pull out they summon multiple balls <laughs> so you destroy one set of balls and they just create another one and you, they keep doing it multiple times so you have to keep destroying these shields over and over and over and over again so you can do damage to the boss and it's not even like their boss is like beating your ass or you're taking damage you're just sitting there spraying bullets hey that that's amazing Hey, his balls! <laughs> God damn it! The fucking balls. Does everything have these? Like, now when it comes down to the graphics and performance of this game, ooh, when I say the graphics, Jameer, crisp, smooth, and like just the atmosphere. There's so many captivating things that just catch your eyes that you just get lost in the game i'm telling you i forgot where i was a few times okay <laughs> yeah the gaff the graphics are pretty good you know i don't think it's anything uh anything super crazy it definitely has like a anime-esque art style that you know can be captivating for some no way you just compared that ass to an anime ass hey, what you doing out here with all this ass double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. For me, it ran at a... It ran at pretty much a solid 60 FPS for most of the time. There are some frame drops when you get to the bigger bosses and they start summoning all their stuff, but for the most part, I didn't have any problems. Yeah, I feel like the main issue I ran into was being at the central hub area. And that's the war like that's the only time I ever really like lost any kind of frames, but it wasn't anything like too crazy. Yeah, just, like, that central hub world is where all my frame drops happen too, for the most part, besides the when you're fighting that giant boss with all the missiles. Yeah, but overall performance is I mean It's fine. I didn't run into any issues whatsoever. It works the way it's supposed to work, I think. It didn't crash, which is a, a statement in the modern era. Actually, I don't know if we can say all of that, because I'm pretty sure the reason why they had that triple XP and all that other BS was because they had, I it might have just been a server issue. They probably got flooded, but I, I'm not sure if it was just a server issue or if it was performance issues overall. As far as the nasty stuff in this game, they got your typical microtransaction shit. I don't, which I mean, can be expected from, I would say typical. Go on. You know, the price of all this is kind of crazy. <laughs> 5,000. That seems like it's going to be a lot. 5,000? Well, it's probably going to be like five bucks. <coughs> yeah. 250 is five dollars. 2,500 <laughs> is forty nine dollars. You want to know how much is five thousand? It's a hundred dollars. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> I would know. Why would you know? <laughs> well, you see, I had to stay true to the channel. Okay. For content. We, yeah, for content. You know, we we made a thumbnail to to 
capture the viewers in any way that we can. Actually, put put the thumbnail up. Boom. And <laughs> I needed to make sure that I stood true to it. You know what I mean? I can't sit there. We can't make a thumbnail and then not per like proceed not to show what we're advertising, you know? So I had to go and get that skin as quick as possible. <laughs> Use a crystallization catalyst. <clears throat> this game overall it's kind of hard to talk about because it's just so just okay nothing really stood out about it as like being spectacular or being like really bad it was just like something we played and we just, just i don't know it's it's one of those moments where i feel like when it comes down to reviews you either really love a game or you really hate a game and either way you can sit there and really express how much whichever emotion you're feeling in that moment but here is just like i don't love it i don't hate it i'm just at such a neutral stance that i'm just like i don't know what to talk about if Besides there was the a, fact that it's mid if there was a dictionary definition of mid it would be this game Waking every day, I don't see shit change. Trying to figure out what I can do about it. Trying to put my crew on, but the shit is too small. Maybe it's a stretch, nigga. We could even rock it. Yeah, we gotta lift off, but the shit is too slow. Lily, y'all been feeling like this motherfucker stalling. Seeing rock bottom and the sight is so appalling. Had to take.